did you know that even extremely tiny particles have existential crises? But of course, you cannot see it. Because by extremely tiny particles, I mean the very small particles of the quantum world. This first occurred in photons when Isaac Newton said, light is made up of corpuscles of light. But Christian Huygens did not agree with this. Instead, he said, light is a wave. Thomas Young then performed a double slit experiment where light passes through double slits and this formed interference fringes that proves the formation of interference pattern. This interference pattern only forms when waves are in phase and combined. Imagine, there are two speakers producing sound waves that are traveling in the surrounding. And when the waves of sounds from each speaker meet and combine, the amplitude of the wave is enhanced, meaning the volume of the sound in where the waves meet is louder. Say, the speakers are 15 meter apart and are surrounded by people with a distance of 10 meter from the speakers. The people that are stationed where there is an interference pattern hear a louder sound. And the young double slit experiment firmly established light as a wave. But then again, in some physical circumstances, light acts as a beam of photons or which we know as light particles. So a photon once asked, am I cousin to sound or relative to electron? But guess what? Electron is also having that crisis. We have always known that electron is a negatively charged subatomic particle that can pass through vacuum, like in circuits. This crisis actually extends to all matter particles when the broad hypothesized the existence of matter waves, with the quantization of wavelength is equal to Planck's constant over the linear momentum of a particle. Now, to prove that electrons possess wave-like behavior, the famous double slit experiment was also used for a beam of electrons and as we can see with the result, there are interference fringes that are gradually forming. This also shows where we can most likely find the electrons. Note that there is only a wave-like behavior when a particle is in motion. So if an electron is only a particle, the outcome should be like this. But as the electron gun releases electrons, there are interference fringes that are gradually forming. This only happens because the electron is in motion and in wave-like manner. Now, to clear things up, this is a duality called wave-particle duality, which became one of the fundamental concepts of quantum mechanics.